Now, after all of this discussion, let's see how you'd use your VOR in your airplane to know where you are. Well, when you look inside your airplane, you'll find your VOR receiver, and the first thing you do is tune in the frequency you want to use, and if it's a flip-flop type like this, you transfer it to make sure the frequency you tuned is active. So the first thing you need to do to use a VOR is tune in the proper frequency. Then identify the VOR Morse code so you know that it's the right station and it's suitable for navigation. Then you take a look at your Omni Bearing Selector, or OBS for short, or your VOR indicator, and then you can rotate the Omni Bearing Selector to set different radials or courses here. And in this particular case, we've set in about 332 degrees in the OBS. So you first tune in the frequency, then you set the proper radial on the OBS, then you read the indicator over here, it's called a flag, and it can say two, from or could not say anything and that either be off or the FA calls that neutral. In this case it says two. And then you look at your needle. The needle could either be left or right or a centered needle. In this particular case we have an almost centered needle. But you could have either left or right or whatever. So let's review this one more time. If you want to use a VOR, you tune in the frequency on the navigation receiver, you set the radial in your OBS, you observe the two from indicator, and you observe your CDI needle which should either be a left or right or center. Now we have a drawing that I think will be very, very helpful to you. You'll find this drawing at the end of the legends and figures on the main menu. But let's take a look right now to figure out how it works. And you can use this drawing with an aeronautical chart as a way of showing what your VOR would read in various situations. So we'll show you how to read it in just a few minutes, but by the way, they will not let you carry this piece of paper into the test. However, you and I are going to memorize it right now. So when you get to the test, all you have to do is sit down and draw this drawing out on a piece of paper because they will give you a piece of paper and a pencil. So let's take a look at this very, very helpful drawing. So first of all, let's figure it out. First thing you do is draw a little circle in the center of the piece of paper and put the letters VOR in the circle. That represents are you ready for this? The VOR. Then you draw an arrow from the bottom of the piece of paper up through the VOR and going out the top where it's, and have an arrow saying OBS. And that, of course, represents what you have set in the OBS. Then you make a crossing line going from the right to the left right through the center of it, and that gives you four quadrants. So here you have your four quadrants. In the right quadrants, you'll have left needles like so. In the left quadrants, you'll have right needles like so. And up here it'll say from, and down here it says to. And so this tells you where you are by what it's going to read. Now let's take a look, if you will, at this figure right here and take a look at Sulphur Springs VOR DME. And I want to show you how this VOR piece of paper we just talked about can be a great help to you. Let's assume you want to tune in the 030 degree radial in your OBS. Well, what you do is you put your piece of paper on the VOR, like so, and then rotate the OBS or the arrow until it goes 030. Now, 030 is the direction you're flying the airplane. You always set in the OBS the direction you're flying the airplane. So if you're down here flying 030 to the station, it would read two and a centered needle. Now let's cover an important distinction. That's the distinction between the radial you're on and what you might have set in the OBS. In many cases, they will be different. As you remember, the word radial refers to where you are from the station. So if you're on the 210 degree radial, you would be down here. But even though you're on the 210 degree radial, if you want to fly to the station, you'd set 030 in the OBS. And because you're using the VOR to track a course, you always set in the OBS the direction the airplane is flying. So you'd be here, the VOR would read 030 in the OBS and 2 in a centered needle. Now, if you got a little bit off to the right, it would be two in a left-hand needle. Go a little bit to the left, and it would be two in a right needle. When you cross the VOR, it will read neutral. And when you pass the VOR, it will read a from indication. Over here, it would be from in a left-hand needle, and over here, it would be from in a right-hand needle. And up here, you're on the 0, 3, 0 degree radial if you're up here. And then you're flying in this particular direction, 0, 3, 0. And so that's how you would use this piece of paper to help you out.
Now let's take a look at this figure and let's look at some questions they're going to ask you about tracking a course. In this case, we'll be tracking a course from way down here at Mercer County Airport to way up here at Minot Vortac. Way up there. There we go. Minot Vortac. And by the way, the Vortac is located right on the airport. There's that little tiny dot there showing you it's on the airport. And over here to the left is a box with the VOR information that tells us actually this is a Vortac. Now let me ask you a question. If you fly from down here to up here, would you be flying roughly north or roughly south? The answer is you're going to be flying roughly north. So the number you'd put in the OBS would be roughly north. Now, if you could continue your line on beyond Minot Vortec and read off the compass rows up here, you would, but the FAA didn't make that much chart available to you, so you cannot do that. So what you have to do is read down here off the compass rows, and I get 179 degrees down here. Now, we're going to be actually flying the reciprocal of that, so you add 180 degrees, and what you would have to set in your OBS then would be 359 degrees. Remember, you always put in the OBS the direction the airplane is flying. Now, you're going to be flying roughly north, so it would be 359 degrees in the OBS. Now, they will make available to an answer to you of 179 degrees. That would not be a correct answer because that would have you flying roughly south. You're flying roughly north. Now, here is a dirty, dirty trick. They're also going to make available an answer to you of 001 degrees. That means you'd have to read 181 down here. That's the wrong answer because we're actually reading 179 down here. The correct answer is 359 degrees set in your OBS. Can you believe they're asking you to read this within two degrees? So the correct answer is you're flying north and you'd set in your OBS about 359 degrees. And you've got it right. Now let's do another one, and to do that, let's take a look at this chart. And let's you and I make a direct flight on this figure. We're going to go from an airport called Hampton Varnville Airport, which is right there. And then we're going to go this direction. And what is that direction, roughly north or roughly south? Well, that's roughly south. We're going down here to Savannah Vortex. So here's Savannah Vortex. And once again, you look down here, and if you could, you'd read the, what you'd set in the OBS down here, but they don't make enough chart available to you, so you can't read off the compass rows down here. But they're going to ask you, what would you set in your OBS to do that? Well, uh, we're going to have to take a look up here and read this and add or subtract 180 degrees, whatever the case is easier. Uh, in this case, we'll add 180 degrees. So in this particular case, we're flying south, and I get uh, 0, 016 degrees. I add 180 degrees, and I get 196 degrees. So if you're flying this trip, from north to south, and you wanted to use your VOR for navigation, what would you set in the OBS? And the correct answer is you'd set 196 degrees in the OBS. By the way, always set in the OBS the direction you're flying the airplane. So if you're flying south, you'd put south in the OBS. If you're flying north, you'd put north in the OBS. In this case, you'd put south in the OBS. Let's do one last one of these, and to do that, we'll use this chart. And we're flying from over here at Majors Airport, and we're going to be flying over in this direction right here at Equipment VOR DME over here. Now, the symbol tells you this is a VOR DME, but let me ask you a question. On this trip, would you be flying northwest or roughly southeast? And the answer is you're flying roughly southeast. So what would you set in your OBS? Well, of course, they don't leave room over here to look it up on the compass rows, so you're going to have to use the reciprocal. So you go over here, and I get 280 degrees. You subtract 180 degrees, and son of a gun, I get about 100 degrees, and that's what you would set in your OBS. So what would you set in your OBS for this trip? You'd set in 100 degrees.